hello friends so i hope you're having a nice weekend uh, today i want to show you something known as the what if analysis in excel so you, this is something that you can work on now that you're having a very long weekend you can practice over and over again i have a table here uh, i'm working for this particular agency we are selling some products laptops hard drives chargers and now that we are approaching christmas we offer some discounts to our customers but at the same same time we are making losses so the management is concerned whether we should be changing the percentage discount or uh, maybe what will happen if the market price changes okay so to answer all these questions that is where the what if tool comes in handy okay so i'm going to create something known as best case scenario worst case scenario so that with that data at hand we can help the management to come up with some final decisions concerning uh, the prices so all you need to do is click the data tab go straight away to what if analysis maybe i can just uh, zoom in so that you see where it is scenario manager okay so i'll just zoom out once again uh, so the current scenario I'm not going to change anything. I'm, I'm assuming that these prices are going to remain the same. The market price, a laptop will remain at 40,000, charger at 3,000, and that is the current scenario. Okay, now let me move straight away to add another scenario. Uh, in a worst case scenario, assuming that these prices uh, sky skyrocket now, uh, maybe from 40,000, all of a sudden, this particular HP laptop is now going at 50,000. This one, instead of seven, it's going at nine. Instead of 3,000, it's now going at 5,000. So that is a worst case scenario. But in a best case scenario, uh, in a best case scenario, I'm going to use the assumption that these prices are reducing. So from 40, maybe we are really praying that the prices go down by maybe 10 so that one becomes 30 so 7 maybe up to 7 maybe up to close to 5000 okay uh, a laptop charger maybe it uh, it will we are hoping that it will drop in a best case scenario from 3000 to maybe 2500 or let me just leave it at 2000 so if i click ok now i have the tools necessary to explain to the management uh what will happen so current stays like that let us look at worst case scenario currently we are making a loss of 9000 and you can see the graph over here representing a laptop as the biggest contributor so in our worst case scenario if i click show look at what happens to the loss column so if i click show this is the worst case scenario it could mean that if the market price changes, we'll end up making losses of 11,850. But in a best case scenario, if I click show again, will the losses will reduce now, all right, up to 6,000. Once you're done, you can tell the computer to create for you a summary of the losses and the prices. And now uh, you can see this thing increasing from current, that is nine, to worst 11 and then 6,000 at our best case scenario. So that is what I wanted you to practice on well yet, uh, maybe tomorrow, okay, if you're close to a computer. If you're not, see you on Tuesday. I'll explain more. Otherwise, thank you.